So Go I'm ahead. sure you've heard the saying, drunk words are sober thoughts. Now, think back to a time when you've gone out with some friends and you might have had too much to drink and your thoughts and emotions are just all over the place. Maybe you did something you, that you normally wouldn't have done if you were sober and you're like, what was I thinking? Well, that's normal because you experienced a roller coaster of emotions and studies have shown that when you drink alcohol, you begin the night feeling great, you're happy, you're relaxed, you're having a good time, but at the end of the night, your emotions begin to die down and you experience a lot of neg negative thoughts. So this is because your brain becomes extremely vulnerable to the effects of alcohol and impacts different parts of the brain such as the limbic system, the hypothalamus, and everything in between. My name is Mallory Schellenberger and today I'll be discussing how alcohol has an impact on your emotions due to the different types of alcohol you experience, the social and isolated settings, and how when you mask your emotions, they still come out because your brain is vulnerable. So you're watching a football game on a Sunday with your friends, and you decide to have a couple beers, you feel nothing. It's fine, you're having a good time. But then that party on Saturday comes around, and you decide to pregame with Tito's and Red Bull. So you're like, oh, it'll get you drunk faster, I'll have a great time with it, Nothing can go wrong, right? Well, that's false because when you drink the higher spirits and like the Tito's and the vodkas, you get nervous and you get anxious. And this was all done in um, a study by the American, American Addiction Center. They did a survey and they said that men and women both reported they feel very anxious when they drink vodkas and that's just because it has a strong impact. No matter what the percentage is, alcohol is alcohol. So your cup of beer, or your glass of beer, your glass of wine, your shot of vodka, it's all gonna have the same effect in the end, but it hits your bloodstream faster, so you hit the effects faster to become more emotional. But this study also showed that men feel happiest when they drink beer, such as the IPAs, or they have a glass of wine with dinner, and this is because it relaxes you and you don't feel as on edge or anxious as those Red Bulls and Tito's. This can be compared to another study done by Catherine Ashton in 2017. She did a cross-sectional study and many people reported that they feel confident or sexy when they drink those vodkas, which is why girls on the weekends will drink those and then go out and dance but can't get up here and give a presentation. However, the guys, you know, feel more relaxed with those beers and wines because it affects them differently than the way it affects girls. Girls get more tired and feel like sleepier when they drink those wines, which is why they resort to the spirits on a night out. So it doesn't always matter what you drink, but also who you surround yourself with and where you decide to drink at. So you've had an awful day, maybe you failed your exam or you got in a fight with your best friend, so you decide to go to the bar alone. Well, that's already a bad idea because you're drinking alone, you have all these negative thoughts going through your head, and now you're adding alcohol. But you think after a couple drinks you begin to feel good, and that's just the fox euphoria that you begin to feel, which is false happiness. That's only going to last as long as the drinks in your hand do. So once those drinks are gone, this fake happiness is going to override, and your negative emotions are going to become like in your thought again. You're going to think about those, and you're going to get down on yourself, and you're going to continue to drink so you feel comfortable but that's not a good thing to do. So according to Norbert, in 2018, 2016, pre-gaming is a common behavior for college students. We've all done it. You know, you do it before a football game, you do it before a night out. You pre-game so you can become drunk faster. Your intoxication, you know, levels are higher. And you do it because everybody else is doing it. Your friends say, hey, let's go out, let's have a good time. But you feel the pressure to drink when you pregame. And that, you know, you're in a social setting, so you're like, oh, I'm not alone, like it's fine. But you're doing these risky behaviors because you feel that pressure. And when you feel pressure, you, you know, experience those negative emotions because you don't want everyone to be like, oh, you're a wimp, you're not, you know, keeping up. So you continue to drink, and in the end, you're setting yourself up for failure because you're not going to have that great experience because you're overdoing yourself. This can but this can be compared to the positive emotions you experience when you surround yourself with people you enjoy being around. So M. Soya did a uh, experience in 2018 on a comedy routine 
and she had a group of friends get together, and they had a couple drinks, and then they watched a comedy routine. And they used the facial action coding system. And what that did was it recorded their facial expressions as the comedy routine occurred. And then most of them were true, positive like exper uh, experiences and emotions because they were around people that they enjoyed being around and it was something that gave them the positive mindset. So this true happiness lasted longer than the fake happiness I mentioned earlier because it was something that came from inside and not from something that they were trying to mask over. So if you enjoy being around the people that you're with and you enjoy having a good time and drinking, then why do you hide your feelings? According to award-winning therapist Dr. Martin Goldsmith, in 2013, he said that people hide their emotions because they don't want to become vulnerable to those around them. And so you're not going to talk about something that brings up those emotions that you're trying to hide. You're not going to want to engage in that conversation because you feel like people might judge you. So I'm sure you can think of that time when you're out and you had a rough day and you just don't want to talk about it. But people are going to like dig at you and dig at you until you talk about it, even though you try to mask it no matter what. But eventually the drinks hit and your emotions come out because you can't keep that in because alcohol impacts your limbic system, as I mentioned before, and that depresses everything. So your thoughts are wild, your emotions are wild, and you're not understanding like why you can't keep it in, under control. It's because it's an involuntary response and the limbic system is just all out of whack and affects you differently. So the private in 2015 did another study on the shaping of alcohol and culture. So emotion is key, they said, and basically um, if you have this positive thoughts going out into the night, then you're gonna have an okay night, nothing's gonna go wrong, like you're gonna have a good time. But if you go out in the night with negative thoughts, then you're gonna have all these like weird actions happen, so like maybe you stole a sign, but it's because you had ne negative thoughts going into the night. And this is all due to how you master emotions and start the night out. So some may argue that alcohol doesn't impact your emotions at all, and that just might be who you are each and every day. But in reality, it does, and this has a lot to do with the type of drink you choose to have, um, as well as whether you're drinking with others, getting that pressure of drinking with others, or drinking alone because of the negative thoughts you have all day. This can also play a role into the brain and the limbic system, and how alcohol does depress those thoughts and emotions, and then you try to hide it by drinking more. So I hope the next time you drink, you think about how you want to feel at the end of the night, and this will help you choose what to drink and who you surround yourself with.